Gene Malkoff here with uh, Malkoff Devices, and today, um, oh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Andy over at Gunrunner. Uh, he's a good guy, and I, he, he and I have talked a lot. Um, the stuff that he's put out is he puts out good stuff. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about the lubing and cleaning of O-rings on your flashlight. Uh, this is something that you probably, if your flashlight sees heavy use once a month, once every couple of months, whatever. Um, at a minimum, I would do it every six months uh, just because uh, these things can get gunky. First thing you want to do is get that O-ring off. Now, don't spend a lot of time trying to pick it at it and get it off. If you squeeze and shove over to the side, you can grab it pull it off all right then I'm going to just take and now I try not to use solvent on the o-rings because it is it can eat into the rubber and damage it if you're too aggressive with it but just a good wipe on there it's good Wipe the front a little bit. Um, then I'll take my flux cleaner and just run around here. You can see down in the threads. You'll see if you see gunk and stuff in there. Cleaning, cleaning them out. Um, sometimes I'll even take. Let's see. Sometimes I'll even take and take my Q-tip and kind of pinch it and. Pull it a little bit to make like a little peak there. And then that will actually go down into, if you've got a particular area that's got lots of gunk on it. Um, so you can clean that out. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to Try you. I mean, you can be here all day until you get a, Q, a clean Q-tip. It's that. That's not necessary unless you haven't cleaned this thing in three years or something. So I just want to wipe out the old stuff. Uh, also want to wipe out, wipe off this surface here, which is the mating surface. The ground passes through here to this brass ring. Uh, if you don't have a high-low switch, then it is a silver looking ring, a bare aluminum ring. So you want to clean that ring also. Just a quick swipe around in there. Clean the little pin, that little pin that's right there. Make sure that's clean. You can see that doesn't look too bad. Then I'll take and run it around the threads on the inside. Just to get the, the old grease and the gunk out. Like I said, if you do this once a month or so, it's really easy. There's no big deal. But if you wait and do it once a year, you'll, you'll have some some gunk really in there. Then take your, your lube that we, this is what we use. Um, there are lots of lubes that are good, but this lube is specifically made for O-rings and threaded fittings. And the Lubrifilm is a sanitary lubricant. That means it's not poisonous. Um, it's used on food preparation equipment. And that way I can get it on me and I not have to worry about it. When we're assembling flashlights, we wind up taking a bath of this stuff. You get it all over you. Move the O-ring good. Put it back on there. One place you do not want lube is on this top surface. Um, the primary cause of flickering in flashlights has been that I've seen you either get a crumb or something stuck in there or you've got too much lube in there and you don't get good contact. Now, this little landing right here 
it may be necessary to put just a little on that landing. Um, basically, you can do the same thing to the tail cap threads. But that is really all there is to it. You got the low. Oh no, I've got the high and then the low. And you're good to go.